Legend of Legend Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3. Oh, on the last episode, we got some cards. We delivered some mails. And we ran into some people. So now we should be meeting up for the tactical conference thing in Baba. Think of my Bobby. Think of my Jigger. I can remember where I'm going. Oh, here. Seems to be here. That's the first time I've learned how to change the map again. Funny enough. Is there any like uh, other things around? Doesn't seem to be. All right, let's go check out the conference. It's like one. It's like 150 right now. I have to work in the morning, but shoot. <laughs> it might be a good idea to take care of any business I've got before then. I already did it. So, what's the special lesson? Eventually, Michael, Toa, Randolph, and Principal Aurelia arrived, and the briefing began at 3 p.m. as scheduled. Um, well, it's time. We starting this thing or what? <laughs> no need to rush. Not even I know the details of our special lessons. Only our chief instructor and our contact are privy to that information. I apologize for the wait. Our contact? Oh, look, our hair color is the same. Oh, it is. It's almost exactly the same shade. Green's is just a little brighter, and that could just be lighting. Is it someone else from the RMP? Oh, I keep you guys waiting. Sorry, my bad. Huh? Is that that voice? No way. Ah, you, Major Lecter, and that's <laughs> Millie Mo Ryan. <laughs> Milliam. Sup, Breen? Long time no see. Oof! <laughs> and there's your traditional reunion tackle. <laughs> I knew tagging along with Lecter would be a good idea. I've got another mission next week, and I didn't know when I'd get the chance to see you again. Is her voice different? Congrats I think her voice is different. Congrats on getting crazy tall, too. Well, I've only grown like five reach. You don't seem like you've changed much. As energetic as ever, I see. Hmm? <laughs> Milliam, it's been so long. Sheesh. <laughs> been a while, Schwarzer. Didn't think I'd be running into you here. But hey. I'm glad the place you got tossed to is working out so well for you. Not quite sure I understand what you're getting at, but it's good to see you again. It's been since the end of last year, right? Right <laughs> you are. A pleasure seeing you again too, Miss Herschel. The Major's not giving you a hard time, is he? Uh, oh no, we're all fine here. If we could get to the matter at hand, Major Arundel. And can't forget you. It's been a while since we saw each other too. Hello, oh, Orlando. I heard our leader asked you for quite the doozy of a favor. Sorry about that. <laughs> this isn't like you, Scarecrow. Yeah, it's a pain, but I still owe you one, so let's call it even, yeah? Well, that's a weight off my chest. Then that leaves... Oh, what's wrong, Ironblood? Oh, don't worry about me. Go ahead. Continue with your reunions. <laughs> Nope, I need to make an introduction now. Imperial Army Intelligence Division, Special Affairs, Major Lector Arundel. It's an honor to meet you. Oh, I suppose this is the first time we've met like this, isn't it? Though considering the events that led me here, it certainly doesn't feel like it. <sighs> <laughs> Thank you for your kind words. Wow! She's the Golden Rakshasa? Major Lecter's certainly oh, formidable shots. himself, but... I'm gonna call her what I've been calling her. Uh, I can feel the tension in the air. Anyway, let's get to the main topic. 
We seem to have majors from both the RMP and Intelligence Agency here today. Now then, what sort of fascinating things will you tell us, I wonder? Hmm. Interesting. This is... I see. Can't say I was expecting that. Not one bit. I'd call that a textbook definition of a sacrificial pawn. So whose organization was it that thought this up? Chief Instructor Michael? Major in Arundel? It was the intelligence agency in conjunction with the RMP. To be perfectly honest, it came from Chancellor Gilead Osborne himself, under the advisement of the Governor General of Crossbell, His Excellency and Rufus Alvarea. But, but this plan is just too much. There have been disturbances in the west half of the Empire. Multiple Jaeger Corps have been spotted, as well as agents of the Society Ouroboros. Those newly established branch campus will be tasked with handling these threats? These kids just started school, and you want to send them and engage in actual combats against threats like these? They're just being used as scapegoats. They'll die out there. She's absolutely right. However, this is one of the conditions that allowed for the establishment of this school in the first place. I'm sure you're all aware, tensions between the Empire and the Republic of Calvert have never been higher. Our entire eastern border sees skirmishes on a daily basis. Just like the other day, a major battle took place in the Nord Highlands. In Nord? R really? How things get so bad in the first place? To be perfectly honest, the intelligence agency and the RMP are both completely tied up at the moment. We're fighting an information war along the entire east of the Empire, including Crossbell and North Ambia. Yep, pretty much. After this, I'm headed to the Kruvazin province myself for my mission. I see. Is that something you should just blurt out? As a result of, as a result of all this, resources and troops have had to be diverted from the western half of the Empire. Thus, we are concerned that there is a strong possibility we will be targeted for attack there. So that's where this plan comes into play. Oh, Zephyr. I can't remember what the other one was. The Mysterious Society or Boris. They were the one pulling the strings during the Civil War, during the Northern War. They were the cause of the turmoil in Crossbell and even the strange events in Libero. In addition, the ten or so elite Jaeger Corps that at times work for Ouroboros have been spotted. According to our info at the intelligence agency, all these groups appear to be on the move. This plan is necessary. We need to have a way to stop them. And, of course, we will not be deploying the students to known lines of battle. While undertaking these field exercises, we would have the most advanced technology, such as Panzer Soldats, on hand to protect them. In addition, the branch campus will also receive its very own armored train for use in these exercises. An armored train? Isn't that a little overkill? That had to cost a fortune. What can I say? We had a good budget. Besides, it won't be the only use for it. On top of that, we've got the Agent Chevalier, one of the best tacticians in Crossbell and the Crimson Wings. Your students' lives will be in your hands, too. This is messed up. Now I understand. Quite an interesting plan. Training exercises that allow us to prepare for and deter an invisible threat. To prepare for and deter. It could even be said that embodies both the word world is a battlefield and the foundations of the world philosophies of our school. Well, Thor's branch campus acknowledges the necessity, the necessity for this plan. Now, tell us where and when the first field exercise will be held. Understood. It'll take place in the South and Sutherland Province near St. Ark. The win will be Friday night, April 21st. You'll arrive there via armor train. Deflinger. Like that, it just seems a little sleazy.
Especially after that opening thing we saw during the prologue, we know they're up to something. I know there's nothing we could have done, but this whole thing still makes me feel bad. Yeah, I had no idea it was such a big operation. Now I feel like I showed up at a real bad time for you guys. No, it's not your fault, Melia. It was all decided the minute this campus was founded. Even I've noticed the western side of the Empire is looking a little thin. Yeah, but as someone from the intelligence agency, I still feel kind of bad. If I had known about this, I could have given you a heads up through juices or some juices or something. That probably wouldn't have been a great idea. I'm sure it was pretty confidential information. What? You're still here? <laughs> Instructor Herschel, I'll need you to arrange our travel plans early next week. Understood. Ran it home already, Lecter? Not quite. I need to transfer over some info from the intelligence agency. It'll take a little while. Find something to keep yourself busy in the meantime. Actually, hey, Swarger, can you think you can babysit for a bit? <laughs> yeah, sure thing. <laughs> hey, why are you treating me like I'm some kid? <laughs> well, whatever. I guess it's fine as long as Reen's showing me around. <sighs> no discipline at all. Just try not to cause any trouble, understand? Well, see you later. Have fun. Well, I'm off to the library to do some research. There's some documents I want to investigate for field exercises. Oh uh, yeah? Well, don't work yourself too hard. He's right, Brez. You always go full throttle when it comes to stuff like this. You gotta take it easy sometimes. <laughs> well, I'll try to be careful. Oh my god, Toa is taller than Milliam now. And thanks, you two. And see you later. If you need anything, please give me a call. That or it could be the shoes. Could be the shoes. Hey, good for you. You get to work with the class prez. Looks like she's working herself to the bone with everyone's request as usual. <laughs> Pretty much. I've been relying on her too. Hopefully she'll let me repay the favor. Anyway, how about I show you around the campus and the town? Oh, heck yeah. Let's get going. Oh, I got money points. That's clearly one, but... Oh. How many do I have? Oh, I only have one. Uh... Hmm... Based on that decision? Come on, I always... I always prioritize. So... <laughs> People should know this by now. Let's see. Where even is this? Is it up one more flight? Well, this is interesting. I ran into something I didn't expect. Oh no, oh no, it's even already. I'm gonna end up in the student council at this rate. Huh? What's he on nine about? Oh, oh, Instructor Reen. And who are you? I'm Milliam. I'm one of Reen's classmates. I'm just showing her around the campus. Oh, and by the way, if you need some advice, I'd be happy to help. Looks like you're having trouble choosing a club. Really? Oh, you're my savior, please. Give us a hand. Huh? You gotta pick your club? Shouldn't that be fun? Well, right now I've got no Scooby. I've got to start all over from scale one. How do you mean? I've actually got a wee bit of a reputation for being pure into trains and railways. Alright. I wanted to start a railway club, but I couldn't find anyone else to join. 
I was running out of time, so I went to the principal to ask if I could start a club by myself. Didn't take her long to shoot me down and tell me I, I'm a boring guy, though. But really? Hey. She started getting it all <laughs> this about how club activities are for demonstrating the composure of a citizen of the Empire. And how will you accomplish that sitting around doing something you're already skilled at, she says to me. Huh, <laughs> that definitely sounds like her. But if you don't want to end up in the student council, you'll need to come up with an alternative. Ooh, me, me, pick me. What about a cooking club? That's what I did, and it was super fun. And you get to eat a bunch of yummy stuff, too. <laughs> that does sound, that doesn't sound half bad, actually. Now that you mention it, I hear Sandy started up a cooking club. Then again, I'd probably be more keen on eating the food than cooking it. Ah, now I have an idea of who I'm going to impersonate at this point. Hmm, hmm. Oh, that's no good then. I'm sure there are a lot of other available clubs too, right? You didn't want to join any of those? I... Well, I don't really fancy any of those other clubs, to be honest. None of them really sing to my heart the same way trains do. <laughs> See? <laughs> that makes me think of our performance at the school festival. Really sang our hearts out there. I could picture the stage like it was just yesterday. Yeah, me too. Oh, what do you do for your school festival? All of us in the old Class 7 did a musical performance. We dressed up and played some rock music. Uh, what? <laughs> really? Oh man, playing rock music, <laughs> playing rock music sure sounds... Uh, pure awesome. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> right? You seem pretty fired up about that. Are you interested in rock, Pablo? Aye, I listen to it quite a bit. No sounds that shake your soul like a surging wave. You feel familiar and nostalgic too. Just like the sound of a train chugging along the tracks. <laughs> it seems the thing about you being a train nut wasn't an exaggeration. But you do have something else you're interested in besides trains. Hmm. But, but don't music clubs have to be like orchestras and the like? Not necessarily. Other schools might require that, but here at the branch campus, the clubs are left mostly to the students. You could make it more of a modern music club. If you start looking now, we might be able to uh, get some more members. Hmm. A modern music club sounds pretty interesting. Heck yeah, it sounds super cool. Alright then, time to get moving. I've got to the end of the day. I'm gonna go around asking everyone if they want to join. Cheers for the help, Instructor Ian. Miss Milliam, was it? <laughs> Glad to help. <laughs> no problem. And you don't need the miss part. But will Pablo be able to find anyone on his own this late in the day? Uh, I think it's a quest. Would you mind if I give you a hand? It's already evening and you'd be able to get more people if there's two of us looking. Ye you should. That'd be a massive help. Of course. I might as well see this through to the end. Now that that's decided, how should we spread out? The campus is pretty big, so leave that to me. I can ask around the dorm later, so could you check the town for me? <laughs> can do. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go, go, go! <laughs> Milliam. Still doing the same thing. Okay. Alright, that was not where I was trying to go, though. Thank you. So, it seems to be around the first floor. Where are you, Tella? It would help if my map was better. Am I supposed to... Oh, there it is. Alright. I don't know how I missed it. Oh, I don't know where I went. In the library, you can find many books that explain the history and concept in Zemeria. In addition, since new books are added to the recommendation reading quarter, each chapter, check back every so often to see if the new book catches your eye. Some books will be automatically recorded in the books tab in your notebook after you've read them once. This way, you can reread them at any time. Yeah, I'm just gonna click on them and then call it a because they they get added to the section and if I feel like going back over them later we'll we'll live with it also I've never been much on the books I just know that you get stuff sometimes so it takes a bit of time. Let's see, Sutherland, Sunderland. 
I need to take care of the travel plans, but I also need to repair as much as I can for the field exercise. Oh yeah, we don't really have a lot of time. Hey, if only I'd known more beforehand, I could have warned you guys. <laughs> oh, it'll be fine, don't worry about it, Milliam. Please, go enjoy seeing the town with Rain. I feel bad leaving all of this to Toa. Let me help you put the, all those documents together, Toa. I mean, if it's for the field exercise, I should be pitching in anyway. Maureen, but don't you need to go show Milliam around? Sorry, Milliam, is it okay if we continue the tour in a bit? <laughs> no problemo. Actually, let me help out too. After coming all this way, it's the least I can do for you guys. <laughs> Thanks, Milliam. There you have it. <laughs> well, when you put it that way, how can I say no? I have a list of books I need. Can I get you two to find the ones with the check mark by them? Understood. Just leave it to me. Uh, if any of you guys watched Inuyasha, uh, not Inuyasha, let's back it up, 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 back it up. Yu Yu Hakusho, um, with the, what was it, Dark Tournament arc? You probably know who I was impersonating. <laughs> Yeah, nothing meets the wind. <laughs> Can't even get in hand. No one does that. You're a fool, you're a meshy. <laughs> wow, thanks to you two, you really helped me out a lot. It was all thanks to your neatly organized list. The only shelves we have left are these. Alrighty. Let's show those shelves who's boss. Well, whoops, it's the intelligence agency. Forgot they need me to check in periodically. Everything okay? It's all good, don't worry about me, I'll be back. There isn't much left, so how about we finish up now? Alright, sounds good. I'm surprised at what a good selection this library has. Military textbooks, documents on different regions, back issues of the Imperial Chronicle, even novels. For some reason, it's really satisfying to see a complete set of hard-to-find novels. <laughs> Feel free to come in here and read all you like. If people make good use of the library, it'll feel like all my hard work was worth it. Wait, are you saying you gathered all these books? <laughs> no, no, I just wrote up the catalog. The Prinzo said, I must have seen a lot of documents while working with NGO, so she put me in charge of it. Writing up a catalog of everything in this entire library by yourself? Isn't that a pretty unreasonable thing to ask? And that said, I'm even more amazed you were actually able to do it. No, it's no big deal, really. But if I had known we'd be doing field exercises like this, I would have found more material that covers combat. If we weren't prepared and the student gets hurt, or you, like during the Civil War, when... Toa. Sorry, there's no time for that right now. We need to focus on getting all of these documents. The last one is up here. <laughs> I've almost got it. Uh, oh, you can leave the high ones to me. Uh, ah, Toa! <laughs> Uh, at least she wasn't on the ladder this time. R Reen, don't worry. No matter what danger awaits us, I'll do everything in my power to bring everyone back home safely. Students and instructors both. I'll protect anyone and everyone within my reach, no matter what. <laughs> I know you will. I'm counting on you, Reen. Huh? What's going on here? Philip's <laughs> face. Milliam, <laughs> this is what it looks like. Oh yeah, because it looks like a super rad hug. I gotta get in on this action. Brace yourselves. <laughs> hey! <no. laughs> After digging themselves out of the resulting book avalanche, the three have finished gathering the documents. <sighs> oh boy. Alright, well. You're right over there. <laughs> you know, today really brought my memories of when we were both students. Like the time I lost my balance. And you... Oh, that's right. I didn't have any time to think and just... Yep, oh, there it is. 
Th th that's enough. Seems like we both remember. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? You tell me, lady killer. <laughs> Jesus, 18 pages. This is a book. 20 pages. Oh no. Then nothing really came out of that. I'm not gonna read that. I really don't care that much. Um, let's see, what time are we at? I'd like to at least get to the point. Eh, we're, good, we're good on time. We're good on time. We're good on time. Um, Alright. So, I'm supposed to be going around to the town to check for uh -huh, members that can join up. Oh, her. The Ice Queen. It's already evening. What am I gonna do? And that's Valerie from class. Say, that's nine, right? <laughs> well, whatever. I don't remember my Roman numerals that well. I wonder if she's chosen a club yet. Well, let's ask. Hello, there, Valerie. You have a moment? Instructor Schwarzer. And who in the world is that? Yeah, I should have seen that coming. <laughs> I see. A modern music club, huh? Pablo's desperate for members, so I should join. Is that it? Well, isn't that kind of you, instructor? If you don't want to join, that's perfectly fine, too. If you're considering another club, then too bad for Pablo. It'd be more, I'll be way more happy to see give you advice either way. If it's too difficult to ask you guys, I can do it for you. Well, no, it's not like that. Hmm. If you want to do it, then you should just jump in already. Now, now, Milium. Well, I mean, I am a little bit interested. Oh, yeah? Shrugged Schwarzer, have you heard of Northern Rock? Well, just the name. It's popular in Rimferia, North Ambria, and Jurii. Pretty much the whole northern region of West Samaria. It's a specific subgenre of rock, right? I'm a little familiar with rock, but not enough to know about any trends in it. That belt is not even fastened. It's just flopping around. Okay. Oh, I'm off track. <laughs> he would have known, though, being from Jury Eye. Are you a fan of it? Well, somewhat. I can also play guitar a little. Huh, sounds like we've got a match then. Yep, yep, it's decided. I suppose it might be more interesting than the student council. I guess I could go talk to him about it. Sounds good. If I had to guess, I'd say Pablo is just about done going around the campus by now. I think I'm gonna call him Arcus too. Pablo told them that he'd also been able to find a few prospective club members across campus. They decided to gather everyone together on the main uh, building's rooftop. That's what Pablo already asked you, Gustav. Are you interested in rock music too? Yeah, I'm from Nor I'm from near Argon Mines, so North Amia and Jiri are pretty much our neighbors. I'm not sure if that's the reason why, but I grew up surrounded by people who are fans of Northern Rock. That said, I'm a total novice when it comes to instruments. Well, learning is part of the club experience. Oh, by the way, can you play any instruments, Pablo? Can I say I've got any experience, but I'm pretty good with me hands. Should be no bother. I don't know how to say it like that. I lost I lost my mojo. <laughs> I think I'll ask someone with some experience to show us the ropes, though. I didn't say I'd join yet. I take it you're fine with joining the student council, then. No. <laughs> then you just have to suck it up and... and uh, oh, okay. Um, shoot, I lost my accent, I lost everything. Alright, well, alright. Jita Bash. <laughs> I'll do my best not to bother you. I guess I got no choice. Very well, I joined the Modern Music Club. Huh, then it's decided. Hey, fun fact, Reen played guitar before. So if you need tips, go and bug him anytime. Oh yeah? Guess we can ask for a cheeky bit. Help now and then. Huh, well, I don't know how much help I can be, but I'll see what I can do. Anyway, here's to the start of the Modern Music uh, Club. Oh, anyway, here's to the start of the Modern Music Club. Oh, thanks, Lords. Aha, I was not that far off. Cheers to the both of you for helping Toots. 
Oots. I don't know how to say that. That's not English. I'm guessing it's basically like saying helping lots, but um, is this gonna update the booklet? No. What about you? No. All right. That should be it for that. So let's go and progress the story a little bit. Oh, there's another thing. Oh, Rain, is that Milium you got there with you? Ha <laughs> it's been quite a while, hasn't it? Uh, about a year or so, yeah. You look even, you look better than ever, Monk. You even seem a bit happier. <laughs> well, I've been starting to get out more since I started working here. Anyway, Rain, you seem to be getting around a lot, just like when you were a student. Are you planning on taking your classes, your class anywhere outside of leaves? <laughs> well, actually. So, now the entire branch campus is doing what only you guys in class 7 used to do? I'm looking forward to all the good stories I'll be able to tell on the radio. <laughs> That's right, you always reference our exploits in the old class 7 in your radio material. <laughs> yeah, thought I'd always add my own little twist to your little escapades. But I'm bummed that I can't really interview the students, unless I'm certain someone would be willing to provide me with a story. Are you trying to say, that's what you want to ask, Green? I guess you could say that. I know you're going to be working, so I shouldn't be asking you this, but if you could give me some good material to work with, my job would be a lot easier. Can you help me spice things up at Radio Trista? In that case, sure. Should I contact you through the Arcus when I have new material? Yeah, that'd be great. Thanks, Rain. Ah, nothing like having friends to help you out. <laughs> You've gotten pretty good at negotiating. <laughs> Seriously. No, oh, let's see if the sass bag has anything else to say. I thought the people who worked on radio shows would be cooler. You know, like, they all seem like cool people on the air. Which is why I decided to work here, but they only make me do random busy work, and then and they pair me up with that weirdo monk. <sighs> it's so boring. <laughs> she'll come around, she'll come around. Wait, I thought I saw something else. <clears throat> Can we not? Are you guys okay? Hmm. Alright, it doesn't seem like there's anything else I need to worry about right now. Let's get a little progression in. These headphones are starting to hurt my ears though from doing this for a few hours. Are, are you eating pancakes? What are you doing here, Altina? I am recovering my energy by supplementing my sugar intake. Today was fairly tiring. Oh, I heard you picked a club. So you're in the swimming club with Lenore, huh? Oh, you had a good time. You were there when she picked the club. <laughs> Although, I guess it won't be official till the school approves it. I'm just glad you were able to make a decision. Oh, you're going to be in a club? Okay, I'll cheer you on too. I will try to preserve it for as long as I can. How was your brief... That voice. Hey, Tilly, how you been? <laughs> what is she doing here? She's here on business. <laughs> I was giving her a tour around the city. <laughs> Long time no see, Tilly. Last time I saw you was that joint mission last year. I'll see me doing. Yes, it has been a while. Can you keep up calling? <laughs> Can you stop calling me Tilly? But but your name's kind of hard to say, you know. You can call us M Million Lammy. I will not. And I have never accepted your name for Clown Saleus. <laughs> but it's easier to remember. <laughs> Million seems happy. I heard they did some missions together last year. Oh, this is re- Oh, you don't need to tell me your name. I know who I called. Is this Professor Skimmit? 
Now that the briefings are over, you must have some free time. Prepare yourself and come to the Enhile Keep. Enhile Keep? For our orienteering exercise? I'm sorry, but I'm giving an acquaintance a tour right now. The child from the intelligence agency? Perfect timing. Come here a moment when you're ready. Don't keep me waiting. He, he hung up. He's demanding as always. You could just not. <laughs> that call. I really, I don't really know, but. Oh, that place sounds fun. So should we get going? Are you sure, Milliam? What about the tour? <laughs> That's fine. I already got to see Tilly. I want to see old man skin it too. Well, he did make it seem like it's important. Alright, once we're ready, I will accompany you. Huh? He said the child from the intelligence agency, and that can refer to me too. Besides, he didn't specify the number of people. Hmm, sounds good. Let's go, let's go. Millie and Tilly, Lammy and Sammy. We're the ultimate quartet. Please don't affiliation. <laughs> Please don't affiliate me with you. <sighs> no, no, you too. Once I'm ready to go to the keep, I'll come talk to you. You still have some pancakes to work through, so take your time. I understood. I shall proceed to stand by. <laughs> Altina is so mean. <laughs> well, to Milliam. Please know that what you do. Any body events. I already kind of did all of that stuff. Alright. Because I want some progress. Let's do a little bit more. I will wait here. Please instruct me when you're heading to NLK. I really, I really didn't. I already did. I shall clean up these pancakes post haste. Huh. Why don't I help you? I can handle this myself. Ooh, you're so stingy, Tilly. Altina, you don't need to hurry, okay? It's always the left ear. No, 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 no. After that, Altina unwillingly shared her pancakes with Millie. <laughs> then the three of them headed to the keep. Hello, Instructor Reen. Hello there, Tita. Sorry I'm a bit late. Hey, Graham Skimmit, how's it? It's been a while. How you been? As always, you're an insufferable little child, and stop calling me Grandpa. I see the Black Rabbit is with you as well. Yes. Is there a problem? No, it should not impact the results of this text significantly. If anything, we can raise the level now. Let's get right to the reason you called us. Seeing as Tita's seeing that Tita's here, I can hazard a guess. <laughs> It's probably exactly what you think. Let's cut to the chase then. Follow me. Millie's happy about it. Millie is happy about everything. Altina is just annoyed at everything. <laughs> and Rain is just like tired of everything. <laughs> uh, so this is what it's like inside. I've already been here during the entrance exam. Oh, so they made you do this, huh? So, you wanted to continue with the trials, is that what you're hinting at? Precisely. Earlier this month, you experienced level zero. Today, you'll be entering level one. This trial is calibrated to more closely match the rigors of actual combat. If you enter thinking it will be easy as last time, you will leave this place as a dead man. Last time had a magic knight. That was the easy one? Ooh, sounds like a blast. H hold on a second. Don't you think you're going a bit too far with this? Participating in this trial, in these trials, is not mandatory. However, one of the conditions for my working here was that the Abbot Chevalier would participate in my experiments. So if you choose not to participate, there is no further reason for me to remain at the school. <laughs> That's super selfish. But, but Professor, we still have Pandasola training. If you leave, not my problem. I know about the special lessons. Would it not be beneficial to practice the Arcus's two news functions here and now? Uh, hmm. He's got a point. It's probably better to be prepared, you know. Don't worry, Reen. We'll be fine. After all, you got me with you. Isn't that right, Dilly? 
No idea. However, there is no reason for me not to participate, so I shall. My role is to import, is to support instructor Rain. Import. He's gonna import Rain. Milium, Latina. Okay, we'll do your trial. Please leave me your strength, both of you. You betcha. Understood. <laughs> what a waste of time. I'll go prepare the trial now. There's an elevator in the back. Use it to reach the starting point. If you need anything on your Argus 2's adjusted, please let me know before you go. I know money. Orange is usually unable to be changed, as you can see. Can I open any slots? Yes. Thanks. Yes. Thanks. Yes. Uh, no, because I don't have enough quartz. Takes quite a fair bit too. Thanks. Well, it is what it is. All right. Let's make a quick save because why not? Ah, oh, millions of higher level than all Tina. Interesting. You know, I could just not. Looks like the control panel operates the elevator. It brings me back to the time we spent fighting our way through the old schoolhouse. <laughs> I'm happy I get to do this kind of thing with you again, Rain. Happy? Huh. I guess that's one way to look at it. Alright, let's get ready then move out. Woo! Understood. Tina's gonna develop some emotions, watch. Because right now she's kind of stoic. She just goes with the flow of the mission. Perfect little robot. Ooh, so this is what it looks like inside. We went up. Yeah, we started underground last time. And how to keep level one. I wonder how many levels there are in this thing. It's probably gonna do like the old school house and and then um, go up each month. Seems like the entire internal structure is completely different now. I remember hearing that there were mechanisms to change things around in here, but I didn't expect it to be this drastically different. Oh, Grandma Skimmy is pretty awesome. <laughs> I didn't read that fully before I started reading it. And then I was like, wait, what happened? <laughs> I'm super psyched to check this place out. As in the previous trial, your goal will be to reach the furthest point. Use of the Divine Knight is still prohibited. I recommend you don't let your guard down. I'll do my best to help you navigate again. Good luck to all of you. Got it. Milim, Altina, get ready. Lammy! Clam Celeus. Argentlum. Clam Celeus, good to have you both with us. Let's go. Our exploration of Einhal Keep. Level 1 starts now. Tally ho, let's get at it. Let's finish this as swiftly as possible. By the way, Tilly, are you able to use orders? I know how to use them, but I have not yet tried. Since this is a good opportunity, perhaps I will test the function now. <laughs> In that case, maybe I'll let loose with mine, too. Altina's Order Ebon Crest is now available. Millium's Order White Decoration is now available. Huh, looks like they're both fired up. Can't let myself get left behind. Eight Leaves, One Blade, Second Form. Gale. It's been a while, but maybe I'll dust it off now. 
Which means Craft, Craft Gale is now available. Let's get to exploring. Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. I'm finally getting to do a battle. Okay, first things first. Because I wanna, I wanna at least do one or two battles before I end this episode because. I have to edit the videos that I've recorded today, and I won't get to get back in here until, like, I finish work in a few, like, in, like, shoot, like, it's a lot of hours. There! Take them down! <laughs> Second form, Gale! Ooh, double break. My turn. And that is unfortunate for you. It's my turn. Sit. Whew. Everyone okay? Ah, it feels good to get a little bit of the battles. A cracked stone pillar. Please leave this to Clem Soleus. I'm sure it can easily destroy this obstacle. And don't forget about Lamy too. Certain objects on the field, such as cracked pillars, can be destroyed by a field attack from a character who's Weapon strike rating, it's air higher. These two should be very similar in terms of how they fight. And yet, they seem like they're gonna be different. Milliams has a higher strike rating at SS. But Altina uh, has a second rating that's B. This is a barrier to protect and rejuvenate the party. Um, a defensive formation that directly reduces damage taken. Interesting. And they're not bad. Not what I was trying to do. How do I do this again? I go. I'm up. Okay, there we go. Crap! Shut yeah. up! Take them down. How about chain battles. Initiating an encounter with one or multiple enemies close by will result in you fighting one battle immediately after another, up to three consecutive times. In addition to granting their own tactical bonus, chain battles accumulate experience points only at the end of the last encounter and result in netting more than you would otherwise receive. It's down! An opening! Woohoo! Shoot, what was it? Um, seventh well? No. Oh. There we go. There! It broke! An opening! I shall go. I didn't break. <laughs> oh, we're it's doing this turn. now. Alright. Second form, Gale! Now! Since you want to play with me, I shall go. Yeah. Take this. More hostiles. Let's go. It's so hostile. Second form. Gale. Oh, I missed one. I shall go. Yeah. Woohoo! Get lasered! Oh, come on, William. You missed the second one. That was the whole point of me doing it like that. So I could at least hit two of them. 
Otherwise, I wouldn't have wasted the CP and I would have just punched him. It's my turn. I shall go. Oh, zero order. Um, that's this. Let's go, Evan Crest. Now. I'm not gonna waste the brave points. Huh. <laughs> Alright, nice work. What's this? Oh. Relaxant. This is gonna be interesting. There! Hmm, I don't know that. No, nobody called you. Sorry, I'm not sure. There. <laughs> <laughs> no one even said anything remotely close to her I name. It's my turn. And to be fair, I did not have to waste that. I could have went back towards the start. Let me not do that in the future. It's a waste of materials. He looks weird when he's climbing like that. Yeah, sit. I wonder how long... Uh, oh, can't see. The camera's real nice to me in this one. Hmm. Chain battle. That could be alright. Now, bring oh. it on! I missed my chance because he went out of range. Second form, down! Now! An opening! Could have just killed all of them. Didn't want to. There. Now. Yeah. There. An opening! I'll finish it. He's like, you killed all my friends. <laughs> I'm up. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Everyone okay? Oh, fine. They're still kind of weak. Hey, how you doing? Take them down. Hmm. Ah! Now, Million, let's go. Okay. Ah! My turn. <laughs> oh, that was flawless. She, her swipe is easier to take these down. It's my turn. I heard her. We have the advantage. <laughs> Come on now, did you really think I was just gonna stand there? I shall go. Yeah. Here I go. Yeah. It broke. We must do this. Got it! Yeah. It's my turn! Huh. It's down! An opening! My turn. Uh. There! In 
Constructorine! Got it! Uh. Ah. Oh, I was hoping for a bit more damage than that. It's my turn! Get back! Treasure located. So they still doing this thing where you can't open treasure chests if they're talking. Seriously, that was really annoying. Uh, prevents poison. I think Altina is the one that keeps getting that the most. Alright. I think that's a good place to have, uh... I'm pretty much stopping for now. Let me get back to where that place is. Oh. I shall go. Wrong oh, button. Charge complete. Oh boy, it's a treasure chest. Ooh, airstrike R. Free goodies. Let's rest up, so I don't use any items. Okay, so... I think this is where we're gonna have to call it for now, because this one's been going on for a minute. I gotta edit these videos before I can go to sleep, and I have work in the morning at eight o'clock, and it is three. So, for now, that is all the time we have for this episode of The Legend of Heroes Trails of Cold Steel 3. If you like this episode, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all on the next episode.